Now that we have gone over most of the basic functions of MetaTrader 4, including the market watch window, how to place trades and set stops and limits, as well as use drawing tools and technical indicators, let's explore a very important feature of MetaTrader, the use of expert advisors. Expert advisors, or EAs, are mechanical trading systems, or as some people refer to them, trading robots. EAs monitor the market and then execute trades based on predefined parameters. The parameters include technical indicator levels, support and resistance levels, and many other factors looking out over multiple time frames. You can find these EAs on the web for free and for a fee, or create your own. With that being said, here's how you add an expert advisor to a particular currency pair. First off, make sure you have the right period you want for the EA as well as the correct currency pair. Here we're looking at the US dollar Japanese yen in the one hour time frame. From the navigator window, choose the expert advisor you would like to use and drag and drop it into the chart window. Click OK, though we still have one more step which I will show you. In the upper right corner of your chart window, you will see the name of the expert advisor you have selected. There is an X next to uh, this particular expert advisor, which means that it is currently not activated. On the toolbar in MetaTrader, you will see an icon for expert advisors. Currently, EAs are off, noted by the red stop sign. Clicking this button activates or deactivates all EAs on the platform. So let's turn it to the green position, meaning that all EAs are on. However, if we take a look next to the title of our expert advisor on our chart, we see that we have a frown face. This means that this particular indicator is not set to allow live trading, which means your EA will not perform any trading, but will ask you to trade manually when the trading system registers a trading signal. Let's go ahead and allow live trading for this EA. Right click anywhere on the chart, choose expert advisors, and then properties. In this pop-up window, click allow live trading and then OK. We now see that our frown face has turned into a smiley face, meaning that the EA is good to go and will be trading automatically now. Going back to the properties pop-up window, we click on the inputs tab. Here, you can set various inputs and parameters for your expert advisor. That includes, for instance, the size of your position, take profit levels, trailing stops, and parameters used in the actual trading system. If we try to add another expert advisor into the same chart, we notice that we can only have one expert advisor running at one time in one particular chart. Before you start using an expert advisor, it will be wise to backtest its results. To do so, right-click inside the chart, choose Expert Advisors, and then the Strategy Tester icon. Here you can select the expert advisor you would like to backtest, the currency pair, the period, as well as other parameters you may want to change. Once you are ready, click the Start button. After the tester finishes compiling the data, you can take a look at the results using a graphical representation or a full report at the end with stats like percent of winnable trades, maximum drawdown, and whether the EA turned a profit or not. The journal tab will keep a tally of every action taken by the EA during this test. Now that you know how to activate an expert advisor, let's show you how to import an EA you may have purchased or downloaded online. It's quite simple really. Find the folder where you installed MetaTrader 4 on your computer and click into the Experts folder. Simply copy the EA file you downloaded into the Experts folder. Then restart your MetaTrader 4 platform and you see that the new EA is now automatically imported into your Expert Advisors list. Just drag and drop the expert advisor into your chart window, allow live trading, and your new imported expert advisor is set to go. This is just a basic overview of expert advisors. There's a lot more that you can explore, including changing properties of expert advisors to modifying EAs in MetaTrader's script editor, meta editor, 
which is, however, beyond the scope of this video. And with that, we conclude our video user guide for MetaTrader 4. If you have any other questions, you may find the answers in the PDF version of our user guide or in the Frequently Asked Questions page. Otherwise, don't hesitate to contact tech support or your account executive with any other questions. Thank you and enjoy using the MetaTrader 4 platform.